All right, guys. Um, so what this video is about is basically I've been messing around with Master League now for um, a little while. And uh, what I've noticed is that there's a little challenge with the player progression system. Not challenge in the sense that it's... Um, it doesn't work or, or something like that, but it's it's really difficult to understand, um, you, you know, when you take a look at training, what specific players are going to become and um, and, and how to get them uh, to where you want to be. So I want to, uh, to kind of go through a little bit of the training portion of this, and I'm assuming that you guys already know how to do this. There's a bunch of videos out there on how to train your players um, specifically i'm going to talk about focus training and um and the things that i look for so firstly what i want to do is um you can see if i select um let me take a real gomez gomez spins he, he's been amazing for me um i got him as a regen 16 years old and um and and he is a poacher by nature so um when you look at this statistic here or list of statistics you can see that you know offensive awareness uh, ball control you know high on the finishing high on the kicking power on the physical contact um all really really good things um so and and the non-dom leg precision there which is basically you know what happens if he uses his um his left foot because i believe he's he's right footed and uh and vice versa if the player's left footed then you know that's about using their right foot um and so when i when i saw this player and i i wanted to um try and fit him into my team one of the things that um it was really important to me was one that they had physical contact um and and a little bit of stamina um but then also you know conditioning uh because that's going to give me the best um uh, it, it gives me the ability to, to have the player on form all the time or have a, a better likelihood of having the player on form. Um, but the big thing for me was getting him um, some skills. And uh, if you take a look at his skills, so, you know, cut behind and turn, never use it. Heading, awesome. Long range shooting. This is one that I added um, to, to his skills. And... Essentially, the way that I added long range shooting is um, under finishing and um, I think it's kick power. And, uh, and, and you know, you can actually see. Um, so if I go to take a skill training um, and go to long range shooting, what you see here is it says offensive awareness 80, kicking powder 80. So when I got Gomez, I had to go in and train um, Gomez, and, I, and I, I decided to use the focus training. You can see, if I go back here, you can see I use focus training on every single player, and I explain, I'll explain why that's the case um, as we work through it, but basically I used focus training to um, firstly build up his physical contact a little and his stamina. And is jumping. Um, so if you go here and I reduce these and go to strength, you'll see. Um, you know, this gives me jumping, physical contact, and stamina and industry, uh, injury resistance. And the big thing here, honestly, is that physicality and physical contact is such a big part of the game this year, uh, in my opinion. And, and I'm not an expert, but this is just what it feels like for me. Um, I need to have a player that can handle a physical challenge or altercation and so physical contact's a big deal so i need a striker that has i would say probably at least 75 around their physical contact to begin with um and so so gomez luckily i believe he was in in the low 80s when when i got him maybe even closer to the 88 um but then what i needed to do was actually go and boost his shooting and um his non-dom leg pre uh, precision was three, so so I've taken him from being able to, you know, hit decent left le left footed shots to you know really nail him, and then from a finishing and kicking power perspective, uh, he already had the offensive awareness of eighty one or eighty somewhere around there, um, but when I went to add the finishing, 
and the kicking power, it unlocked the ability to do the long range shots. And so as soon as he hit that um, 80 on the kicking power, um, I, I was able to, uh, to to immediately get long range shooting. And that makes a big difference in, in my game, the way that I play. Um, because I like to take some shots that are outside of the box sometimes and um, and just test the keeper, uh, you know, especially in those games where, you know, you're just getting bullied by by the defender. So um, that that's that's kind of one key point, um, you know, around how I look at, you know, training, especially focus training and and what I look for. Um, I'll show you something else uh, now. So if I go to some of these other players, and you can see I've got, um, I'll sort by age so that you guys can see. Um, I had a lot of really young players, 16, 17, uh, 18. And so what I basically did was I started off in the bottom division. So I took, um, I, I went with Newcastle, but I took the kind of Konami team, right? Um, so the Pez United or, or whatever it is. And I did it because I wanted to challenge. I, uh, last year, I was able to play on Legendary and you know win probably 40% of the time. And uh, this year, I'm playing on Superstar. I feel like this year, it's a lot harder. Um, I cannot, I, I, I get whipped in Legendary now, so especially with the squads that I have. And, um, and so, you, you know, I, I've, I've tried a, different, a couple of different builds on how I've done uh, squads. And, and what was really interesting for me was um, I realized that starting in a lower league, I was getting really pushed around by a lot of the um, lower league teams. And um, I'll just kind of show you, uh, if you take a look at comp competition info, I was in the English league and I was in um, Skybet Championships. And so, um, yes, Skybet Championships. And so what what you see here is there's some decent teams in here. Um, you know, Crystal Palace, um, Nottingham Forest, Middlesbrough, West Brom. Uh, and some of these have, have come down from, from the other division. But, I mean, you start off, you know, Birmingham City, um, you, you know, some, some teams that have decent players. And what that meant was the squad they give you, the, the Pez starting squad is pretty crap. And so it put me in a situation where I really, really had to do two things. One, um, you can't really sign anyone because you, you don't have a budget. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to do a video where I start off from scratch and show you guys kind of how I, how I went through the signing process and, and started to build up my team. Um, but ultimately... Where, where you get to is you have to make a decision between um, whether you're going to loan a bunch of players or whether you're going to develop a bunch of players. And so um, in my negotiations, I always have a couple players that I'm loaning. So, you know, I've got two big time players here that I'm loaning. They're, uh, you know, Neuer is a little older, uh, 37, uh, but Militao is in his prime. And you can pretty much loan anyone. So as long as you, um, as long as you build up the transfer budget, which is actually pretty easy to do, and I'll do a video on that too, how how you build your transfer budget to to loan anyone you want. Um, but you can see here, three hundred and fifty. I could loan Messi, Ronaldo. I could loan everyone I wanted to, and have a team full of superstars. I wouldn't own them, but I could play with them for a season and and probably get close to being able to win everything. Um, but uh, so so anyway, you, you have to make a decision on that. And, and what I did was um, the first season, um, you do get some recruits that come in, I think, about halfway through. And what you'll find about those recruits is they're, they're not very good. Um, but ultimately, um, at the end of the season, if you make it through, you'll actually get some pretty solid um, younger players. And so, and, and I feel like season after season, it might be because, you know, after the first season, you really don't have that many players. And after the second season, your squad's a little better. And by the third to the fourth season, you, you, your squad's pretty stacked. So, so the younger players that come in, you're only selecting the best ones. Um, but the way, the way that I did it initially was I went in and I selected, um, so you can see, I have all these players on, on the loan list, right? Pretty much all my guys are on the loan list. 
And, and what that does is it gives you the opportunity to not sign a player, but it puts that player into the loan pool. So it makes it available for other teams to loan. And then before that, the, a team, so if you look at Ang Angel here, um, I, if I accept the negotiation terms for this player, what it's going to do is it's going to, um, well, I, my squad's full, but so I can't do it. But, um, but what it does is it gives me the ability to accept the terms and loan them as if they were on my team. And all it, all it does is it signs them. And you can see um, on the right-hand side of the screen there, it says market value, and then it says first annual salary. So that's, um, as long as I have that salary available, I can sign them, they come into my team and loan them out. Now that does two things. Uh, the first thing it does is it gives me the transfer fee. So uh, 5.175610, that's the transfer fee that I receive for loaning the player out. So that's awesome, it goes right to my transfer budget. I can go buy someone else as long as I have a salary budget. Um, but the second thing it does is it gives the player the option to essentially go out and you see this is a six month loan. You can see it in the bottom right hand corner. Um, so, so it's a six month loan and that player essentially, you know, hope, hoping that they get playing time and the team they're going to, they should, um, they get to play for six months and kind of train up a little. And what that does is it allows you, um, as you go into, uh, sorry, as you go into your training, um, you can set a set of training for them. Um, and, uh, and, and one of the things, so one of my favorite players in the game, and I know this sounds crazy, is this guy, Michael, uh, Michael Antonio. And, um, the reason being is he's just a physical beast. So, um, you know, when I sent him away to loan, he went from, I think it was like 68 to 71 or something like that. And... Um, what it did was it allowed allowed him to kind of build up his uh, a little bit of speed, a little bit of acceleration, kind of some general skills. And then when he came back, I really have been pumping the physical contact piece into him. And, and so um, it gives you that kind of jump start to go off and, um, and have a player kind of just build enough skills that you can use them in your first team. And then when you come back, you can do this focus training um, that, that I like to do and you know specifically I've, I've chosen the physical contact piece of this and and that gives you the ability to um, to, to then start using them in your first team and um, and ultimately uh, you know start to pick some skills up uh, Navas is another great one so I got him at the beginning of this year um, I mean dude's fast as hell but, uh, you know, he's got no physical contact. Player touches him. They can pretty much bounce him off the ball. Um, what I wanted to do with Navas was I wanted to um, specifically use him uh, as a right back, as an attacking right back. But for me, the conditioning is such a huge part. And, and so, you know, he was, a, I think he was a five maybe. And, um, and so I've been training him all year. He's now a six. Um, I'll do a video on how uh, training progresses from week to week, match to match. And then I think uh, I'll probably do a video on um, what happens if you skip matches versus play matches and, um, and what happens to the same player. So I'll run a couple leagues and, and track the stats there um, if that's something that you guys are interested in. So um, anyway, uh, just something that I thought thinks really interesting on the focus training and how to develop players. And uh, I want to do a series on this. I, I've been looking for someone else to do it. I haven't been able to find one. Doesn't mean there's not one out there, um, but that's definitely something I want to do. So um, yeah, I mean, if this is interesting, uh, it'd be interesting to hear what you want to say, which bits you want to focus on. Um, and happy, I, I'll track the statistics of uh, the player growth week by week so you can see how they move and, and what different types of training do. Um, I think focus training for me has been one of the, the most impactful types of training to, uh, to, to get a specific area for player usable. Um, and so, uh, so I'll, I'll go through a couple, a couple of different, um, points as I move forward. All right. Excellent. Thanks guys.